What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about Robocop 1. Uh, this Robocop 1 is essentially about this cop who was transferred to um, Detroit and uh, this is where the story starts and this is uh, we get to see how Robocop was born, how he, how he became Robocop or Murphy became Robocop. So let's talk about what I did like about this movie. Uh, the pros, I should say. I like the, uh, uh, the, the shock and awe that this movie really have at the beginning. It's really, really strong. It's like, it's just brutal. And you see uh, the, the changes, uh, you know, this. you see the life, the, the life and death of Alex Murphy is very clear. It's bloody, it's violent, not, I don't like any of that, but it's very conveyed, kind of, uh, you know, city that have that state of mind, that state of present, I like that a lot. Uh, what else? Uh, we get to see more of the police. The uh, police uh, operation is always busy. They're always understaffed. They always, uh, you know, uh, say always have someone breathing down under their neck. Uh, OC, uh, OCP. So that was interesting. Uh, what else did I like? I like the sound effect in this movie. It's really good. It's like. Almost, it's really grounded, very almost terrifying, always uh, methodical, very uh, b foreboding. I like that. I like the uh, the corporation. They were there. The corporation is always kind of it's really they're serious, but they're very kind of uh, comic relief at at some at some um, scene. What else did I like? Uh, we get the, and I. In addition to that, we get to see the the whole, the the structure of corporation. There's infighting. There's that was very interesting to see to watch because you we don't really get to see a lot of that in movies or even in real life. We don't get to personally see it unless you are fighting for you know senior VP position yourself. But you don't see that. You only. You don't really, really see that in real life. Ash, you see it in real life, but you don't see it in first person. So I like that a lot. And I also like the robot, the opposing robot. That was really interesting to to see. Um, yeah, it's really uh, uh, it have that kind of evilness, so that it kind of that uh, monstrosityness to it. Uh, what else did I like? Uh, I like the. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of a thing that I really like this movie. There's a lot of things to like about this movie. The, oh yes, the the uh, the real life. Uh, I guess you could say prop of Alex Murphy or RoboCop and the uh, other robot. Feel they look real. They look authentic. They look like they could exist at that time. So I like that a lot. There, there's a lot of things I like about this. This movie. What else did I like? I said, I think that's about it. There are a lot, those are the major things that I like about this movie. And the, oh, oh, almost even the low cop, even the low, low, lowly thug. They were really crazy. They were really zany. They were really out there. And you, there's one particular guy. He's just a piece of work. You know, he really is a piece of work, and I like that a lot too. You get to see his, he, that kind of person. He's just disgusting, and he's horrible. He's just, just not a great person when you think about it, when you see him. So, what did I not like about this movie? There is not much to like. The only thing I did not like was this scene when Murphy is, he loses his life, and his partner... She just standing in the back. She didn't really do anything. I felt like she was really underused. Not underused, but she didn't contribute to the story or contribute to uh, uh, Eddie, uh, Alex Murphy's life or even to the force. She did. I'm sure she did some work with the 
the force, meaning the police force. But at that scene, it felt like she didn't really uh, uh, feel like, look like she was an actual cop. It feel like she's put on the show, didn't really do it. As the old saying, walk the walk and talk the talk. Here she just walked. She just talked to talk, didn't do the walk to walk, if you understand what I'm saying. So, what else did I didn't like? Uh, the ending was okay, it wasn't the greatest, but it's kind of how it, it uh, how it's led to it because this movie is such crazy, so much violence, so much destruction, so many comic relief. It's crazy so to me it just didn't it wouldn't surprise me that this movie end like that because life doesn't always go the way you want it to go and it goes on its own path and you just have to make the best out of that path that you're on so that's how i see it so that's those are the only two that i did not really like about this movie so what was the rating guys what I give this? I give it an 8 out of 10. I really liked it a lot. There's a lot of action. There's, there's really good stories. Very simple to follow. And you understand all aspects of each of the parties. You know the corporation, the police department, and our main characters. Even the, uh, the antagonist. You get to see his motivation. You get to see their personality. You get to see how they're acting real and normal in the movies. So and then, and I like that a lot because a lot of movies don't really do that. They don't. The character don't live their own, live their own life. So that's why I give it an eight out of ten. I really enjoyed this first RoboCop one. It, it really set the foundation for two and three, and it was the one that's it's stick to me the, uh, the, the the strongest to me so 8 out of 10 guys please like thumbs up share subscribe and browse through my youtube channels i have a lot of content for you guys to check out if you do so most importantly take care bye bye